Welcome back. We are still on the topic percentages. In the previous video, we solved a practical problem involving the National Health Insurance Levy. In this video, we are going to solve another practical problem involving both the value added tax and the National Health Insurance Levy. The problem for this video is Andrew bought a mobile phone which cost 960 Ghana cities before tax. The VAT and NHIL rates are 12.5% and 2.5% respectively. Calculate A, the amount of money he paid as VAT and NHIL. B, the total amount of money he paid for the mobile phone. So Andrew bought this mobile phone that cost 960 Ghana cities before tax. It means that the basic cost of the mobile phone is 960 Ghana cities. That is the cost of the phone before tax. The tax exclusive cost or the basic cost is 960 Ghana cities. He paid two taxes. First, he paid the value added tax which has a rate of 12.5%. And he also paid the National Health Insurance Levy, which has a rate of 2.5%. The question wants us to calculate the amount of money he paid as tax. That's the amount of money he paid as value added tax and National Health Insurance Levy. After that, we should calculate the total amount of money he paid for the mobile phone. So let's begin with the first part. We know that the basic cost is 960 Ghana cities. The VAT rate is 12.5% and the NHIL rate is 2.5%. We know that if VAT rate is X, then VAT is equal to X divided by 100 times the basic cost. So here, the basic cost is 960 Ghana cities and the VAT rate is 12.5%. So VAT is equal to 12.5 divided by 100 times the basic cost, which is 960 Ghana cities. And this will give us 120 Ghana cities. In the same way, the NHIL is equal to the NHIL rate, which is 2.5% times the basic cost. So you have 2.5 divided by 100 times the basic cost, which is 960 Ghana cities. And this will give us 24 Ghana cities. So Andrew paid 120 Ghana cities as VAT, and he also paid 24 Ghana cities as National Health Insurance Levy. It means that the amount of money he paid as VAT and NHIL is equal to 120 Ghana cities plus 24 Ghana cities, and this is 144 Ghana cities. So Andrew paid 144 Ghana cities as VAT and NHIL. The second part of the question wants us to find the total amount of money he paid for the mobile phone. We have seen that the basic cost is 960 Ghana cities. And the amount of money he paid as VAT and NHIL is 144 Ghana cities. So the total amount of money he paid for the mobile phone will be the basic cost of the mobile phone, which is 960 Ghana cities, plus the taxes he paid. The taxes he paid was 144 Ghana cities. So the total amount of money he paid for the mobile phone is equal to the basic cost, which is 960 Ghana cities, plus the amount of money he paid as tax, which is 144 Ghana cities. If you add these two, we are going to get 1,104 Ghana cities. So in total, Andrew paid 1,104 Ghana cities for the mobile phone. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve another practical problem involving both value added tax and NHIL. Bye bye.